the answer to a call which finds them ready night and day, men of the mine's central rescue station at Wakefield. Once a week their call is for practice, sometimes a genuine alarm, but always they're together and away in less than four minutes. The men know their job. They'll have oxygen for two hours' work, two hours of crawling past obstructions, maybe in fire damp. Each man helps his neighbour. That's the way of life in the pits. Meanwhile, the team's captain checks on names and equipment. With their mouthpieces in place, the crew depend no longer on words. Underground, they'll advance or retire in obedience to the hoots from a horn. But first, a test for gas. Second nature to ex-miner Harry Potts, and now forward into the warren of galleries beyond. That box is the end of an electric link between the rescue crew and the world outside. It will enable Isaac Keaton and his superintendent Cliff Riley to check on the movements of their crew from the moment of their advance. Their objective is to rescue a casualty trapped by a fall of rock and to reach them they've headed away from the main haulage roads. It's a scene familiar in every mine where a man needs to develop pit sense or he dies. Half buried under fallen rock and pit props, the casualty has been found. And this is where accuracy in the diagnosis of his injuries is so vital. He'll need to be revived with oxygen before he can be safely moved. Only then will they be able to carry him to a safer spot and give him the further treatment he needs. back means hazards that may extend for miles, dangers that are faced not by full-time rescue teams alone, but by 4,000 volunteers throughout the country. The superintendent stands by as they reach the surface, for he's got to watch carefully the final stages of their test. Each man is fully qualified to give first aid. Each move will be checked on time. Wakefield is proud of the stretcher to which the injured man's transferred. It was invented by William Riley, the superintendent's father. Known as a rocking stretcher, it's used extensively in Britain's pits. It helps men with chest injuries to breathe. So to the end of one more test in the interest of safety in the pits.